So I've wanted to be a student missionary ever since I knew what a student missionary was. And my dad has gone to Palau, so I decided to go somewhere that I've always wanted to go, and that's to an island. And I wanted some place remote with mountains, so I picked Koshai. Welcome to Kosrai, one of the four Micronesian islands, an exotic place in the Pacific Ocean. It's remote, beautiful, full of life and exotic fruits, the perfect place for adventure. Awesome. Yeah, it's really neat actually being in a different country and like experiencing God in a whole new way. It's, it's like it's like I imagined it in some ways and yet better in others. But why would someone in their college years fly across the planet to stay an entire year? So I teach the fifth and sixth grade and I teach all the subjects. Um, and now we're, I'm teaching some of the seventh and eighth grade classes. Language arts and then they have science with Carissa. And then I do math and then social studies and health, which is my favorite to teach to have the opportunity to like do something that you're totally unqualified for which is like scary but it's also super cool because you can just like be thrown into it and learn learn so much you're leaving your important scheduled life back home to come help people who you don't know but like you know I'm leaving my comfort zone and I'm coming here where I don't know anyone but it's crazy like how fast the bonds like grow and there's just, you have family here. This is a work of love. There would otherwise be no school if it wasn't for student missionaries sent from Adventist churches and universities to nearly all of the islands in the Pacific Ocean. These dedicated volunteer missionaries are changing lives. And it isn't all work here. They do have opportunities for fun activities. Like it's not all work. It's fun too. Like you can go explore. You take the kids with you and go explore. They took us to the waterfall like the first week we were here. And it was just fun like getting to know them and they were like all going spear fishing. It's like, whoa, that's awesome. So we go out with like metal spears and we're like looking under rocks and shining flashlights and stepping on coral and everything and they're like, stab it, stab it, stab the fish. I'm like, okay, like stab this. And yeah. As the volunteer missionaries engage the children, nature, and themselves, they create a special bond and memories they will carry for life. Nobody expected what was just ahead. As the student missionaries learned the condition of Chuuk, a neighboring island that is several flight hours away, they were sad to hear that some students could not attend school for lack of teachers. Kosrai, on the other hand, was fully staffed, so Julianne and Carissa decided to help. So being a student missionary wasn't really a huge leap of faith for me. It, what's happening right now that is a huge leap of faith. In the Bible, God says to go, and I'm taking that literally, and I'm going. Although it's really sad that these girls are leaving, it's cool how they see a need somewhere else, and God is gonna qualify us to be able to take care of the gap that needs to be filled here as they're filling a gap somewhere else that needs it. It took a leap of faith to serve God in a remote island then a huge step in faith to move to a more needy place. Carissa and Julianne were warmly welcomed in Chuuk, and they will for sure be remembered in the hearts here and in the books of heaven. I'm sure by the time I leave, my perspective on life will be absolutely torn up and a new one will be in place. Already it's changing so much just from a couple weeks here and I love it. It's like the best thing I've ever done, like the best choice I've ever made. It's so worth it. It's the most rewarding thing you'll probably ever do. And you'll definitely grow closer to God. Each year, hundreds of Adventist volunteers take opportunities across the globe to serve, to love, 
and to teach others about the love of Jesus. From around the globe, Seventh-day Adventist University students take a year off from school to travel abroad to beautiful parts of the world where they teach island kids to read and write, but most importantly, to love. The impact these volunteer student missionaries have on the young kids surpasses understanding. Here are the testimonies of students of former student missionaries who are now attending Walla Walla University. They had a lot to do with guidance, you know, they were counselors to me. All of the student missionaries impacted my life in a really, really, really big way. You just make a lot of friends, a lot of friends for life, you know, I'm still in touch with my first grade teacher. Most people who I've talked to, they think, oh, I'm going to be a student missionary, I'm just going to go teach a kid English. But it's a lot more than that. Um, a student missionary was the one who taught me to tie my shoe. I had two or three teachers in high school, my senior year from Walla Walla and they all helped me um, apply for Walla Walla. If it wasn't for them, I don't think that I would be here. <laughs> it affected me in a really positive way. When I was in high school, I wasn't the best kid around the block, but I did try hard in school. Through like, my church, I got scholarships that gave me the opportunity to be the person that I am today. I was counting today and 17 out of like my 25 teachers were from Walla Walla. I've been taught by a total of 31 student missionaries and about 50% of them were from Walla Walla University. The school probably wouldn't function if we didn't have SMs in the islands. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have a school. Back home, I was taught by SMs my whole life. The teachers that came and taught me my science classes were also science majors here at Walla Walla and you could tell that their teaching style was adapted from professors here. I was leaning towards architecture but then an SM who was from here, uh, he's a civil engineering student and he kind of influenced me to go the civil engineering direction and I'm glad I chose that. They taught me my subjects of course but then they also taught me life lessons. They inspired me to come here. They had a huge impact on our lives there, all the little kids running around campus. I learned a lot about God from them too. Taking a year off from school to come and like devote yourself to serving, like wow, that, that, just, that just touches me. They're not just their teachers, but they're also like their friends, their siblings, or they could even be parents for some who don't even have parents. Some of them uh, I got really close to. They're just like brothers and sisters to me. One day I hope to be a student missionary too. The list of opportunities changes every year. You can volunteer your time and energy around the world. There are people who need you. To become an Adventist Volunteer Services missionary, visit AdventistVolunteers.org. There are many different types of opportunities to serve in many areas and places. Are you hearing God's call to serve? Will you go?